Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well here in Florida. Um, can I have your full name and what team you coach, please? My name is Lynn Smith and I coach Stonehill College from Easton, Massachusetts. Great. We've just asked your players um, one simple question, which is sounds simple, but it's not so simple. The question is, right, we've, we've asked them how many days a year do they feel 100% when they're going out there and competing? Not practice matches or training, specifically uh, tournament matches. And it's quite amazing to hear the reply of hundreds of interviews we've done. I would say that never. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> popular. Exactly. So as a coach, what do you preach well, and how do you help them? You know, it's interesting. Um, the, the focus on the strength and conditioning is, is huge, and not just for strength and conditioning, yeah. but that prevents injuries. And um, each and every program, I'm sure, is working on that. And we have incorporated it at our school as well by investing in that particular program for both, all the teams. It's helping. It's helping. The girls are definitely developing um, better conditioning, better strength. Um, some of the injuries are just overuse as well as the repetitive use over, over time. So it's, it's really in in inevitable but maybe yeah. you know, delay it a little bit. And, and we asked them also about practice matches. How important are playing lots of practice matches, the correlation between them and the actual tournament matches? Um, do you see that playing more practice matches makes you a better tournament match player? No, yes. I mean, obviously practice is a good thing, but at this level, uh, it's more about feeling the pressure, uh, dealing with pressure, and you can, it's very difficult. I'm, I'm sure every coach would say that yeah. uh, simulating pressure in practice is difficult. And these, you know, oh, pl pretend you're down 040 or 030 is really not, you know, helpful. So the, we've even at high school level, when I was coaching high school level, the more you can play, and it doesn't matter if the player is better than you or not, just the more you can play, uh, the better that match play will help you. And um, they practice more than they'll ever, ever play a match. And so uh, for them to be able to get out there on their own in the very short off seasons that they do, many of them do compete, and, it, and you see the difference. You just do. And it's the tactical, you know, strategic, all that stuff, physical even. I mean, yeah. just the, the rigors of a real match are so different than practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing replies. And the last question I have, do you feel that they, they come prepared to you when they, you know, how old are they? They're 18 roughly, right? Oh, 18 Mentally. 18 21, yeah. Eight. You know, it's interesting. Once they get, as they come in as freshmen, I would say um, the, I call them the academy players may be really technically sound, but maybe they aren't getting the match play they should. Mm -hmm. So it's a real jump for them to be able to play uh, three, four matches a week and try to keep the tactical stuff going going you get mentally drained more than physically I think but once they get into your program and you um, get them into that match play mode and and you know tactics more than anything um, mental work is more than anything uh, those videos that Djokovic has been putting yes, out there have been phenomenal um, so we've been using those as tools because it, it applies at every level you have to be able to handle the the pressure and these matches are pressure yeah I, I just don't think that a lot of these players are aware that even the top players don't feel a hundred percent maybe five or six days a year so that's why I asked you when they go into college right are they, are they uh, emotionally mature and understand that they can't feel 100% every day? But that's a, you're right. That's the ongoing battle. Like, mm. okay, even though you're not, you got to have your B game, your C game, your D game. Exactly. And we'll continue to try to help you recover or whatever. But as a, I think for these camps and everything everybody does when they're recruiting mm. out there at the academies and stuff, for the, to try to impart that at the younger age, take care of yourself get the match play, but come in ready to go. And I think it's going down deeper and deeper, too. I mean, I go to those academies, and they're doing the strength and conditioning, and they're doing all that stuff. And I think it will help us college coaches get those kids at an earlier age. Um, since we do have a wide range of ages, freshman to senior, mm -hmm. it, it, there is a difference, and it's mostly mm, mental. You know, mental. So you, you would like to see more these players play more practice matches, get more mental toughness, uh, be prepared so when they step into your program that they should be trying to any tournaments not just practice yeah any USTA IT whatever it is like and I find a difference between the a lot of the uh, international kids as opposed to the American kids you know that's getting more and more um, developed here in America obviously as well but the international kids seem to think it's the normal normal thing to play you know three four matches a week to begin with and that's maybe the Americans are at least my the kids that I'm yeah. recruiting from America so that's changing a little bit too and I think everybody understands that it's a it's a strange sport a sport tennis mm -hmm. you know it's just a mental game and uh, it's the how do you practice the mental game yeah, a lonely individual sport <laughs> you can't you have to practice it but you can't practice it you have to actually 
do it, play yes. it, yeah. <laughs> face it, you know. Yeah. That's why it's a life sport, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm amazed with your replies and we, we really appreciate uh, your, your feedback. Good luck with the yeah. season. Thanks and for your time, I appreciate it. My girls yeah. appreciate it too. Thanks. Right. Stonehill Thanks. College. <laughs>